So, as we bat and ball through different uh, things that I collect and I enjoy, we're back to locks. Uh, so they are pulled because he's um, there's not much going on with these. I thought I'd put a, couple, a few different ones out so you can take a look at something different and uh, from different places as well. So first of all, we've got this aluminium huge lock. This is this is quite a very big lock, um, and it's very obvious where this lock comes from. This lock comes from Russia, and it would have been. Um, uh, at the days of Soviet Union, where everything, uh, you know, came, you didn't set your prices, it came with the prices, and the prices on the front of this lock, what this lock would have cost, um, and, yep, yeah, no, it's a very big lock, and a very unusual looking key, so if you look at this key, uh, it looks more like a saw than it does a physical key, and the way it works, you'll just get the key, and you twist it into the lock like this, Somehow, and it opens. So quite unusual, very different. Sprung loaded. Take it again, and there you go. Quite a large cut out there, but yeah, quite quite unusual lock. How this works. You can see the mechanism in there. Spring it backwards, and forwards. And this was given to a good friend of mine uh, called Ali. And we spotted it, something unusual, something different, uh, and he sent it my way, and uh, I will forever keep it. I'm very grateful for that, so that's that, which is quite nice. And then we move on to something that, you know, I'm particularly happy with. This is a, a, a special lock in my collection. I'm really, really pleased to have this lock. And this lock is English, uh, and it's called the Dreadnought. Uh, and this comes from the Willingall area, which was renowned years ago uh, for being the place to uh, in England for locks for being made. Um, absolutely beautiful, this lock. And uh, it's not, not a huge lock, quite small, uh, completely handmade. Uh, and if you look at it, it's, it's very unusual. You've got these sliders that go across, um, and these sliders will go into different positions as you can see, um, to unlock the lock. And basically what you've got, I've actually got the original key as well. Uh, and if you look at the key, the key is stamped for, uh, 5350 and the shackle is stamped 5350. So it's the right key, the perfect key for this lock and an original key. Uh, and basically what you'll do is you'll paste the key on the lock. And then this gives you the positions of these sliders. So with the lock in place, you can slide these down to the various positions on the key and then once they're in the right position you pull the um, shackle out and basically these sliders are locking bars going across the bottom of the shackle here and that's how the, uh, the lock locks and you'll take it away take the key off push it back and it's locked up again really nice very rare not many of these about got very very lucky finding this uh, item and a uh, rude piece to own it and it's uh, again another item that I'm never going to let go and then last of all, we move over to the very last side, which is a very tiny little lock. Um, and this is French. Uh, well, I believe it's French, either French or Italian. I think it's French, maybe German, but def definitely European. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to take a pun and say I think it's French from what I can remember. I can't remember the details of it, if I'm honest. I can never remember anything. But uh, this lock is absolutely beautiful. So if you look at this tiny little lock, it's lovely but when you what really gets nice is when you take a look at the key so very nice looking key uh totally uh typical of the period but when you look at the end of the key look at that look at that lovely um walling on the end of that key for the post um and this lock actually has a trick to it because you cannot see a keyhole uh and there is a trick to opening this lock um so if you don't want to know the trick Look away if you want to know the trick. Uh, it, you know, now's the time. So to open this lock, there's no obvious keyhole signs. Uh, so it's very well hidden. Uh, but if you take a look at the key, we get a hint to how you will unlock this lock. And the first hint we got is this nipple on the top of the key here. This little nipple is a great hint to tell you what to do. And then you need to find the right spot on the lock, which happens to be this little spot here. And your... Uh, use the nipple of the key, push that little rivet in, 
and then that releases the cover which then shows you the keyhole and look at that keyhole inside there look at that post that that key sits on absolutely the workmanship is fantastic uh, and the key fits as you expect beautifully and there is another trick to this lock so there's not ah so it shows you how long ago since i've looked at these so there's another trick to this lock to get this to work so you'll try to put the key in the key doesn't fit uh, and then it's a slide i believe there so you'll pull this down and then that releases something inside the lock and now you can put the key in and open it so look at that it shows you how long it's been since i've opened this lock uh, so that's another reason why I love puzzle locks, because if you don't open them for a few years, you tend to forget how they work. Uh, it comes back to you pretty quick. It takes a second to, to remember. Uh, so you'll shut that, turn the key to lock it, slide this up, push this round, and it's done again. And how lovely is that? Absolutely beautiful. And I really like that. So uh, age-wise, I think this should be... Um, this won't be too late, uh, so this is 1900s. Uh, this would be 17, uh, 1800s, so 1900s, 17, uh, 1800s, and this is going to be around the 1700 mark. So, different generations and different, you know, looks and you know, of how to do things and come across things, uh, and you see how things change over time and different areas. So I just thought this would be quite nice for you to take a look at. So three very different locks, from very different areas from different areas. Thank you.